Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. This is week one in November at North Park. My name is Krista and I'm so glad that you are here because we have a great time coming up today. We're going to learn some more about our great, big, amazing God. Are you ready? I hope so, because right now we're going to do some singing and dancing. So let's get up and sing and dance and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, see you soon. Hi friends, I'm Zoe and I am so tired. We've all been helping with the community garden. The other day, there was a giant storm. After the storm, the garden was a mess. We needed some big help. So all my friends came to help. Josie spent all morning picking up all the sticks and branches that fell down. The rain made the weeds grow super fast. So my friend Eli helped pull lots of weeds. And the rain made all the food go really fast. So my friend Brandy helped pull lots of strawberries and asparagus. It's so great for all my friends to be helping together. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Working hard in the garden, were you? Yes, 
I was, Ollie. My friends and I have been working together to take care of the garden after the storm. It's good to have friends. It's true. I have a story about some friends for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. There we go. All done. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Luis. Have you ever seen one of these? It's a flower box. I made it for my friend Maria, who lives in an apartment building downtown. She can put this on her balcony and grow vegetables right in the city. <laughs> I love helping out my friends. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, guys. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. There we go. Today's true story from the Bible is about two good friends. First, there was David. David was a shepherd and took care of sheep. Then there was Jonathan. Jonathan was the son of the king and lived in a palace. David and Jonathan were very good friends. They loved spending time together. They ate together. They walked together. One time, Jonathan was so thankful for his friend, David, that he took off his own coat and gave it to him. <laughs> then gave him his sword and his bow. He even gave him his belt. <laughs> wow! David was so thankful that God gave him Jonathan to be his good friend. Now, I have a question for you. Everyone, make a question face. Hmm, what can we do to show God we are thankful for friends? Let's come up with some ideas. Hmm, we can share things with them, like our toys, rides on our scooters. We can even share food from our garden. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> okay, so we can share things with our friends. Hmm, what else can we do? Oh, oh, I've got one. We can use our mouths to say kind words. Let's practice. Everyone say, I like your shoes. I like your shoes. Let's do one more. Everyone say, you are so nice. You are so nice. Great job. So we can use our mouths to say kind things. We can share. What else can we do to show that we are thankful for our friends? <gasps> we can draw them a picture for their birthday or help them clean up, or give them a fist bump. Woo! <laughs> there are lots of ways we can show God that we are thankful for our friends. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story, and it's all true. David and Jonathan were thankful they were friends, and we can thank God for our friends, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, David and Jonathan were so thankful for each other. We can thank God for our friends too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Oh look! It's almost lunchtime. 
I'm going to ask my mom if my friends want to come over and eat strawberries from the garden. I'll see you next time. Bye! the Lord with my whole heart. Psalm 111.1. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. Psalm 111.1. that you can be a good friend like Jonathan was to David and David was to Jonathan? Can you be a good friend by sharing what you have, by thinking about other people, by using kind words? I know you can. I believe in you. I believe that you're going to remember to say thank you to God for everything. Let's pray. God, thank you for giving us everything that we have. We pray we will remember to share all that we have so that we can be helpful and be good friends. And we pray in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Remember, friends, God made me. Do the actions with me. God loves me, and he loves you too. And Jesus wants to be my friend forever. <laughs> friends, it was so great to have you here today. I won't see you next week, but I do hope to see you very soon. Will you come back? You will? Great. I will see you then. Have a great week. Bye, friends. <laughs>